All right, so let me just rant for three minutes about, about fame or um, this general idea that we want to build a bigger, 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 bigger audience, which is why people um, get drawn into using TikTok or using Instagram Reels, where it's easy to, for your thing to go viral. And I get it. It, it. it feels cool to be so popular. But I've been, I've, been, I've, I've had a little taste of fame. Um, I had an email list at some point early on in my business. I had an email list of 13,000 people early on within the first three years of my business, 13,000 email list subscribers. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So what ended up happening was that I just got a lot of requests for my free time. I got a lot of emails that I felt pressured to respond to, got a lot of social media messages and things like that. Like fame is not what they cut out to be because with fame comes a lot of unwanted attention. Like we don't even think about this. It's like, it's like, do you want fame? Well, yeah, I want fame more than not being known by anybody at all. Okay, I understand that maybe fame is a secondary option to being completely obscure and having no business, no clients, nothing. But there's a third option, which is sort of like maybe 5% of the way to fame uh, or 10% or of the way to fame. Like that's actually a really nice sweet spot because, and that's where I, gratefully, that's where I'm at, I am today. I have 8,000 Facebook followers. I have 6,000 Instagram fans, um, like 15,000 or whatever. I don't know, lost count, YouTube subscribers. Like I have just like 5% of fame enough where I have a full, I've had a full waiting list for six years. I've had a client waiting list. Always, and it's never, the client ratings has not gone down for six years. It's only gone up. So it's like, that is, this is where I want to be. Like, I don't, like, it's interesting. Someone else, someone invited me recently to, to be interviewed. Um, it was, it was a kind of a spiritual audience and I turned it down and it would have been a pretty good sized audience. I turned it down because I'm like, thank you so much. I'm going to buy your book. I will, I'll support you in other ways, but I don't want to be seen by your audience because I don't want. I, I only want to grow an audience now. Like the, the, the next thousand people who follow me, I want it to be as perfectly tailored to what I do as possible. Because if, if the next thousand is just a broader audience, I'm going to get more direct messages, going to get more emails that I feel pressure or guilty not responding to, going to get more comments from people. And also when I run ads to my warm audience, which is a core part of my ad strategy for Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn, when I run ads to my warm audience, if my warm audience is large and broad, I'm just going to be spending more money into the wind, throwing money into the wind. Whereas if my warm audience is small, medium, but targeted, I'm getting client inquiries all day long with that kind of audience. So <laughs> it's like, I don't want to be recognized when I walk out on the street. What? <laughs> Please, you know, keep your physical distance. <laughs> Good for the pandemic. It's like, I don't, I don't, you know, it's like, I, I want to stay anonymous as much as possible, except for the people who want to hire me. That's it. That's it. So it's like, let's think carefully about this. We don't want more people. We want the right small audience. Like that's the ideal lifestyle, right? It's like, who, who, why, do you, why do you want a giant audience? I mean, the, the, the reason why I could think of wanting a giant audience is two reasons. One is it might feed your ego and that's not necessarily a good thing, right? But second thing, it's good for business only if your primary strategy is to get sponsors, sponsorships. Like if you want to sell, you know, beauty products or sell whatever, it could be software, could be, could be anything. Um, it's like you want a giant audience because the people are like, oh, you only have 100,000 Instagram followers, not, not enough for our company. Or yes, then we'll pay you $30, $50 per, per sponsored post. Maybe at that point, 100,000 people, maybe you get a, a few hundred dollars per sponsored post. But it's like, you know, it's, that's, yes, you get, you, you can make a few thousand dollars a month with hundreds of thousands of people in your audience, but think about all the direct messages you have to, you have to sort through all the comments you have to sort through. It's like, oh my God, you, you, you give yourself so much more work. So it's like, that's why I want a small audience, but that's really targeted, which is why running ads is so useful because running ads allows you to target instead of just letting your thing go viral and like having a bunch of random people follow you. No, no, no. We're reaching just the 50,000, just the 30,000, just the 10,000 ideal people. It's wonderful. It's really great. I have great business waiting list and you don't have to respond to like my email, my email inbox right now is completely clear. 
and my email inbox is clear, zero. I've almost uh, at least three times a week, but almost every day, my email inbox is totally clear. I love my lifestyle. It's like, I don't want more people. I just want the few of you who are here. That's it. <laughs> so I hope this is uh, helpful as another perspective to the typical marketing more, 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 more. No, it's not more. Better, 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 better. And uh, we'll have a better lifestyle that way as well. All right. And I want to thank uh, Gregory, one of the nine folks who are here live. You know, thank you. This is a great, great size, right? Gregory wrote, fame, F-A-M-E, is focus on ancillary metrics exhaustingly. <laughs> That's exactly right. How many likes did I get? How many followers? Um, and how many, whatever, comments? It's like, no, no, no I just want the... If I, if I have only, you know, 10 followers and they support my business and my lifestyle, it's great. I could focus on deep relationships with 10 people. That's amazing, right? Now, usually you need more than 10. Usually you need, like I said, if you have somewhere around 1,000 to 10,000, um, you know, and, and they're not just from random people, but 1,000, 10,000, mostly true-ish fans, maybe out of the 1,000, fans you have like you know 250 are true fans and you know another 500 are semi-true fans and then maybe you have the the 250 that are like ish fans that's 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 starting to be a full-time business you know what i mean and then and then you keep growing from there to where i'm like at now it's like six thousand eight thousand it's like okay i have enough i have enough i have enough when i run ads um, I'm mostly nurturing my warm audience and building deeper relationships. And just by, you, you get to a certain size and word of mouth really starts to take off. I mean, you think word of mouth is all you get your business now? You, you have no idea. Like once you get to a certain size, word of mouth just starts taking off and you, you almost can just step back and go, I'm always getting new email subscribers without doing almost anything because it's like, just you get it to enough critical mass, then you get enough referrals starting from there. So hope that helps.